Welcome to this video on patching fixtures in WYSIWYG. Patching in WYSIWYG allows you to create and edit a patch of fixtures and devices. Patching refers to assigning a DMX start address as well as universe information to each fixture. In WYSIWYG Perform, these start addresses should correlate to the address of the fixtures patched into the lighting console. When connected, live changes are updated in WYSIWYG Patch. In WYSIWYG, there are various methods of creating a patch. This video should guide you through three. Before a patch can be created, patch universes have to be defined. Creating a patch universe. In data mode, navigate to the patch layout tab in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. In the patch shortcut column, right click and select new patch. Enter a name for the new universe. It's traditional for a universe to be named after a letter or a number. In this example, I will choose one for the first universe. Select the patch universe type. I will select DMX. Press OK. Repeat this process for all of the universes you wish to create. To rename a universe, simply right click on it in the patch shortcut column. Select Rename. Enter a new name for the universe and press OK. To remove a universe, simply right click on it, select Delete and press OK. The universe is now removed. Now that universes have been created, fixtures can begin to be patched. Drag and drop patching. In data mode, select the patch layout tab in the bottom left hand corner. In the patch shortcut column, select the universe you wish to patch. You will notice the number at the top of the screen updates to show the name of the current universe selected. In the wireframe, select the fixture you wish to patch. Press and hold and drag this to the grid below. You will notice the grid updates to show all of the attributes of the selected fixture when patched. Repeat this for each fixture you wish to patch. To repatch a fixture, simply select it in the grid and drag it to its new location. To unpatch a fixture, simply right click and select Unpatch. To unpatch a whole universe, with the universe selected, simply right click on a fixture in that universe and select Unpatch All. Select Yes. This will unpatch the universe. Patching using Quick Tools. Fixtures can be patched quickly and easily using Quick Tools. In CAD mode, select either a quad or a wireframe layout. Under Tools, Quick Tools and Quick Tools, the Quick Fixture Tool dialog will open. Tick the box for Patch. Navigate to the box with three dots to configure the patch settings. Enter an offset. Offset refers to the starting address to the first fixture you wish to patch. Under Patch Universe, Select the universe you wish to patch to from the ones we created earlier. Alternatively, a new universe can be created here by simply entering a name. Press OK. Tick the box for spot number. At the same time as patching, spot numbers can be assigned sequentially to each fixture. For both patch and spot number, leave auto increment ticked. Press OK. We can now begin patching the file. To do this, simply select fixtures in the order you wish to patch them. This can be done in any wireframe view. You will notice during this process the status bar updates to show the next available spot and patch number. To finish patching, right click and finish Quick Tools. Spreadsheet patching. A WYSIWYG file can also be patched using Spreadsheet View. In data mode, navigate to the spreadsheet layout tab in the bottom left hand corner. In the left hand column, select columns and all data sortable. Here we can see all of the fixtures that are in the WYSIWYG file. To patch a fixture, head to the patch column, enter the universe name, followed by a decimal point and the starting address. Press enter. This fixture is now patched. Spreadsheet view is also an efficient way to patch multiple fixtures in one go. Select the first fixture in the range of fixtures you wish to patch. Hold down Shift. Select the last fixture in the range. Enter the universe name, followed by a decimal point and the starting address, followed by a plus. Press Enter. As you can see, WYSIWYG has automatically patched the fixtures to the next available patch address sequentially. In this example, I've chosen dimmer channel fixtures to show this, but this method is equally efficient for intelligent fixtures. In the same way, select the first cell, hold down shift, select the last cell, enter the universe name, followed by a decimal point and the starting address, followed by a plus. Press enter. 
Once again, WYSIWYG has assigned the next available patch address to these fixtures. Spreadsheet mode is an efficient way to patch when the patch has already been defined and documented in a spreadsheet software. Simply locate the fixtures, open up your spreadsheet, copy the patch information and paste these to the appropriate cell. Reading the patch. In data mode, navigate to the patch layout in the bottom left hand corner. In the patch shortcut column, a universe can be selected to view. In the main patch area, each cell represents one DMX channel. The channel ID is featured in the top left hand corner of each cell. Each colour bar represents a fixture, with a spot number and name of the fixture in the left hand side. In the centre of each cell is the attribute assigned to that channel. The colour bar represents the colour of the layer that the fixture is on. To change this colour, simply change the colour of the layer. Patch view properties. In data mode, under the patch layout tab, the patch universe can be selected. Select the universe you wish to adjust the properties for. Right click on this universe and select properties. The view options dialog opens. Under the universe tab, the universe ID and universe name can be adjusted here. If using WYSIWYG Perform, the source console can be bound or unbound in this window. Under the display tab, the appearance of patch can be altered. Updates per second refers to the updated information coming in from WYSIWYG Perform of a connected console viewed in the patch. Color refers to the cells and so does column width. These attributes can be adjusted here. Pressing OK reflects these changes. Thank you for watching this video on WYSIWYG. For more CAS product videos, please click the link in the description below.